but you can go back in then and you can <coughs> pull out a reflecting line if you want. Uh, you can just dry up a brush, make it a little thirsty, and go ahead and take a little line out of there. And look at that, it's starting to look like a reflection. Something's going on there. Then you can use even a couple of other darks, maybe uh, to give it a little extra pizzazz. Now that white is a strong white, and, but it's kind of a rude shape, and, it, and it's not a very exciting shape, and it will be after I get the darks in here, and it starts to move this way and that way down along this way over to my way over to my needle, like it is here. Barb's uh, blue vest uh, on. I'm going to put that on here, and it's not very carefully painted. I'm not going to be too concerned about the carefulness because Barb, Barb has, after all, got her shirt tail hanging out here. <laughs> and, you know, if she can be casual, I should be. But I don't want the glue to be all the same. You never make it glue all the same. Give it some variety. Throw even a little purple color in a little red and let it mix. <coughs> it, it's, it's wonderful when you can get the color you want right away when you start. You know, when you when you when you put it on there, you got the color that you need right away. That's great. Okay, um, I'm gonna uh, these trees um, are just sort of uh, over here. I'm, I'm putting in these darks because I want to want to be able to sort of see how this composition is going. I'm, I'm developing as they kind of go around. There is a, a red. Uh, sometimes you can take and uh, just just uh, mix it on paper too. You know, you just kind of drop in some little drop in a little cadmium red in there. Look at that. What happened to that brown? Just let it let it kind of let it kind of mix on the paper. This is always a good idea. Because you don't want the, you don't want the colors to be boring, and they will be boring if you mix it all in the palette. Because you've got a blue house, you mix up a nice big blue and make a big blue house. <laughs> it's going to be boring. But if you take a little blue and put it on there, and then drop water here, I, I'm going to just put some clean water in here, okay? And because down here where it's, it touches bottom, I it said clean water. Right? <laughs> That's uh, not very clean. Um, and where it where it touches the bottom here, uh, I want it to be uh, kind of blue because it's reflecting the sky, even though it's it's uh, that it's white, but it's got a lot of wave action in it, and it's going to be uh, sort of reflecting the sky. And where it comes up against some of these warm colors, I want it to be. Still a white area, but it's a lively, a little more lively white area. And after that dries, I will go back in and I will, um, I will do a little, little few drops of calligraphy and that kind of stuff. Um, and I haven't decided yet what color I want. I want those to be dark, but I'm not sure what color yet. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's see if I can quickly get some of this. Um, Foreground stuff. I'm saving my center of interest really for last. I might drop in some color here and there. No. That, that nice warm color that, that's on the thing. Um, it's the same color as family of colors as my background, but I want it to be, I want it to be contrasty. So um, the side of it is in shadow, actually. Um, little details. Uh, I like to do the same stuff. Let's 
just put them in there. repeated you want to try to change the color and if you don't change the color then you should change the value you can do that by doing this you know and just just throw a little different I'm trying to give a, a little variety in this uh, in this area because this is my center of interest and I'm really fussing There in the front. Um, you've all got good dry cleaners. <laughs> so you, you might be wanting to use them. <laughs> well, I'll try to be nice here. I'm just going to start throwing some color in here. Very loosely. So I'm just going to really kind of generalize things here. And I'm keeping these blue, kind of bluish colors, because um, Barb is kind of under a shadowy area of the tree here. And there's some grasses growing in here. Let's see, what have I got here? I've got a darker pattern underneath here. The, the um, uh, easel is, is orange, so I'm thinking, you know, it's, and it's pretty, uh, pretty warm, so I'm, I'm thinking maybe I'd like to go with a cooler color here. But I don't want this to be boring shape. Why is it boring? It's because I'm fooling a little brushes. Use a big brush. Ah, isn't that fun? It's supposed to have fun up here. Oh, wow. Now oh, it's getting exciting, isn't it? is against the darker background, I'm going to take some color out of it. Just taking color out of it. Now, light against dark and dark against light. So I'm taking some color out of there. And down there where it comes up against the light, it gets really dark. And in nature, it really does work that way. So I'm going to put some paint in here. And I can cheat some more. <laughs> I can do a little more cheating here by uh, extending this dark down, putting a little more dark into that reflection. Just uh, quickly do a little stuff with uh, various and sunny. That's not dark enough. You gotta use paint right about out of the tool. I've got here, I'm grabbing blue and, uh, and raw sienna, or, or burnt sienna. And I'm just going to draw some, some shadows. 
shadows in here and some structure on that tree. I'm gonna, there's a few bushes here I can at least help them a little bit. Um, this is the bottom of that angle. Um, I want a nice little thing along this side. I don't know what kind of board she had on here. Down here, where it meets the light, I want to have that easel or that piece of white paper. I want it to have a little bit of contrast so it does. So it does establish itself as a different piece of material. So I'm just going to just draw a little bit of color in there. Remember the dark meets the light. You want to have some kind of some way of turning the corner. It's okay to have some some edges fused. Watch what happens to the painting. Think about it. When this bright color comes into the most beautiful spot on my picture. <coughs> Right there, probably a few bushes and twigs 